Hello everyone and welcome back to your own channel that is we are in techno world. So hope you all have subscribed this channel and if you have not subscribed this channel then please do subscribe this channel that is we are in techno world and if you like this video kindly comment in the below comment box right. So uh, our today's topic is operating system. So first of all, I would tell you that what do you mean by operating system and uh, today's main topic would be like what is the role of shell and kernel in an operating system. So this would be the main keyword of today's lecture, right? So before going or before moving into the topic that is kernel and shell, you must know that what do you mean by operating system? Okay, so what we could like say about an operating system that this is an interface with the help of which the user is interacting with the computer system, right? For example, for example, like I am having the computer system, I am having the computer hardware, right? But if like you wants to work onto that computer system, then we must have one kind of software. Like we must have like the main system software with the help of which the user could send some instructions to the computer system right just like that like you have purchased one laptop okay from the shop you have purchased one laptop okay but there is no operating system that has been installed onto that computer machine right so if you want to like write one C program or if you want to do the basic calculations or if you want to listen the music as well as you want to watch the movie onto the computer system, then first of all, you must have the like platform. You must have the platform or you could say the source, the software with the help of which the user could interact with that machine, right? So operating system is that interface. Operating system is that interface with the help of which, with the help of which the user could give commands to the computer system, right? So we could say that operating system is the medium, right? Operating system is the medium or it could be one interface with the help of which like the number of users like interact with the computer system. And they could assign number of tasks to the computer system. Okay. For example, just like um, we are having various application software, right? Like the system software is one layer onto which we are having like the layer of application software. Okay. So with the help of application software, the user is giving instruction to the computer system. Right. So these all kind of things have been discussed in my earlier videos okay if you wants to check the definition of operating system in detail with the help of number of example then i'll share the video of the definition of operating system as well as uh, like we are having different types of operating system just like batch processing system we are having after that like the multitasking operating system we are having just like uh, this windows operating system the most commonly used operating system after that, like I have shared the video lecture of uh, network operating system, okay, and the distributed operating system as well as the like real time operating system. So all these lectures are already available in my YouTube channel, right? So the, in the description part of this lecture, I would share the link of all these lectures, okay? So like what you do, you just watch the earlier videos so that so that like I like I could tell you that what exactly the role of shell and kernel which is our main topic today right so in the main topic uh, like obviously I would introduce you people uh, about the shell and kernel and the, like different types of uh, like kernel would be discussed in the next video lecture right so till then you just understand the concept of it right Okay, so uh, come to the uh, like uh, role of shell and kernel in an operating system, right? Role of shell and kernel. Okay, so first of all, you just come into that structure. Okay.
okay this is what this is the structure of an operating system okay you could say that this is the structure the structure of operating system right so uh, like in the inner layer we are having first of all the hardware hardware means the computer system okay because we are talking about like operating system then obviously first of all we must have the computer system okay so like the hardware we are having after that like there is kernel okay so kernel is what kernel is the inner layer of an operating system okay kernel is the inner layer of an operating system after that we are having the role of shell means we are having the layer that is known as shell now what is the role of it i would tell you right first of all you just uh, like draw the structure of operating system okay so like after that we are having application programs so what do you mean by application programs application programs means the number of softwares with the help of which like the user is interacting or the like the user is giving command to the computer system okay that means to this hardware but like before uh, like uh, working on to that different number of instructions right first of all like the operating system would give command or would divide the work to the kernel and shell right so how exactly the kernel and shell would work in the inner layer of uh, operating system so this would be tell uh like soon so what do you do first of all you just read this definition what is written over here okay so kernel kernel means what kernel is one kind of computer program that acts as the core of the computer program right that acts as a core of computer program computer operating system that means this kernel is the inner layer this is the inner layer of an operating system and it has the control over everything in the computer system that means like this kernel is what this this kernel is interacting or this kernel is directly interacting with the hardware it is directly interacting with the hardware by using the machine interpretable language okay by using the machine language uh that means what you could say so like just like in case of this outer layer that means the application programs we are having different kind of software just like you could say gmail right it wants to uh, like send some messages to my friend right so for that purpose i am using an application program that is gmail okay for example like i wants to check uh, like number of messages on whatsapp then for that purpose i must have whatsapp okay i must have the software that is whatsapp okay so uh, this is one kind of another application program okay and the most commonly used software like if he wants to write some documents if he wants to uh, like prepare the document part then obviously you must have ms office package okay that means that means like with the help of these commands what we are doing we are just giving the set of instructions to the operating system because we know only the operating system that operating system is everything operating system is doing click the memory management operating system is doing the processor management operating system is doing like the file management each and everything we just know that like operating system have like different number of functions right but in the background who is performing it every uh, thing the kernel and the shell okay so how exactly it would work or oh, i'll tell you okay so uh, like as i am saying that it is a computer program right that directly interacts with the computer hardware okay so uh, like you just understand it with the help of one example like as i am saying that each and everything is doing in the operating system as a user know right but just like uh, you just take one example of an it company okay in one it company for example one project came one large project came that you have you have to complete uh, like uh, in a period uh, of around one year 
okay that is a very good project right so each and everything means the of regarding that project has been assigned to one project manager okay so now obviously the project manager is having the responsibility to complete that task of that project right so that means like this project manager would divide the work into different number of like uh, the persons who are having a like uh, in the one team right under that project manager for example there would be one system analyst there would be one system designer there would be the software developer right and uh, there would be one software like uh, tester right then only the project would be completed okay so like uh, obviously as project manager is like having the responsibility to complete that project so just like that the user is giving command with the help of the different number of application software just like if he wants to work on ms word then obviously you are pressing ms word you have opened ms office package after that you have clicked on ms word right after that like the like uh, that application or the set of instruction which the user has given would be converted into the machine understandable code right that would be passed to the shell that would be passed to the shell okay and this shell would convert means the shell would convert in a form of machine understandable language right shell would interpret that instruction that user instruction this point is to be noted that this shell would interpret that instruction the set of instruction taken by the user okay in the machine understandable code or you could say the language right after that after that this shell is one interface right the shell is the interface between the kernel and the user between the kernel and the user or you could say the application software right so like what exactly the shell is doing shell is passing that machine understandable code that what exactly is to be performed it is passing that like uh, set of instruction in a mas machine understandable code to the kernel right so this has been passed the set of instruction has been passed in a machine understandable code to the kernel after that computer uh, like this kernel would directly interact with the computer's uh, like hardware okay this kernel would directly interact with the computer hardware it means now this kernel would tell the computer hardware that what exactly is to be performed that means the command is to be given to which device right or you could say in the function of kernel that we could say that kernel is performing memory management okay kernel is performing memory management kernel is performing processor management kernel is performing the scheduling management each and everything is being performed by this kernel right because like we the user who is working on the computer system is not assigning any of the like memory to different number of tasks which is opened in the window right for example we have opened different number of tasks but we are not assigning the memory to different number of tasks right who is performing in the background operating system and operating system is giving that responsibility to the kernel right so like if in exam or like if you are like uh, preparing for the operating system for the various competitions and for your course then uh, like uh, there could be one question that what is the difference between kernel and shell then in case of that you could write that kernel is the internal layer or the inner layer of operating system whereas shell is the outer layer of an operating system right we are having different types of kernel just like monolithic kernel micro kernel and hybrid kernel etc means we are having some other types as well but these are the main types right in case of shell you could write that we are having different kinds of shell just like corn shell c shell right these are the different types of shell okay bond shell okay and uh, what other thing you could say about it like kernel just perform the different kind of uh, management just like memory management scheduling management processor management right so these number of tasks like has been performed just like by kernel right and shell is basically responsible 
shell is responsible for the communication purpose right this is one layer between the user and the kernel right i hope you have understood the difference between kernel and shell and what exactly the function of kernel and shell in an operating system so hope you have liked this video so please do uh, comment in the below comment box if you like this video hope you have enjoyed so thank you everyone